Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. Super stinky and getting a bath. This guy is. Every night he wants to snuggle with me, and I've been like, no, you stink. And then I snuggle with him anyway because I love him. A lot of you guys were wondering if Eddie was feeling better. I'm so sorry I didn't make it clear the other night that he was fine like the same day. He just, every once in a while, he'll. <laughs> I know he stinks, right? Every once in a while, he'll get a stomach ache and he'll throw up. It's just yeah. kind of weird. Every I think. Time Outside, he eats something. Yeah, we think he eats stuff in the yard, maybe a frog or a lizard or something, and it yeah. upsets his stomach because he's not supposed to eat that stuff, are you? Look at he's like for shame. So anyway, he was fine the same night, but we know everybody he's loves him and was worried him. about him. But he does stink very, very badly. Yeah. So Alex is gonna give him a bath, and, and Chelsea's also, gonna help, right? And also, if he eats leaks too, or grass sometimes, yeah. yeah. We have a massive hawk on the back fence. Do you see him, hun? Nope. I'll <laughs> he's like, oh, I'll watch the footage. Oh, he's so cool. He's gotten bigger, hasn't he? Yeah, it might be a different one. I don't know. Sister, helping you put your shoes on. So mm -hmm. sweet. Where are we going? To the park. To the playground, the community playground. So we filmed so many videos today. Oh my gosh. It feels, days like this where we film like other videos and not just the vlogging, it feels like we did a lot of vlogging and then it'll be like the end of the day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't vlogged anything. So we were busy filming videos all day today and Alex actually wanted to go to, down to the park. Because it's nice out. It's really nice out. So what happened is um, we, we got a ton of rain last night. It rained and rained and rained and, and this morning and then it was kind of dreary like half the day and then all of a sudden it cleared up and it's beautiful out. And for the next couple days we're supposed to have cooler weather so it's really nice. And the girls are like, we want to go play outside. So we're going to head down to the playground to play for a little bit. Yep, wet from the rain. Everything's wet. You kicking your feet? She insists on going in the baby swing. And then a the little girl... Uh-oh, is your hair stuck? Yeah. Well then. Yeah. Dangers of going on the swings. Oh, there you go. No harm done. You okay? Yeah. There's a little girl smaller than Chelsea going on the big girl swings. I said, Chelsea, you need to start practicing on them big girl swings. She can do it with a little bit of help, right? What did you find? Somebody, somebody lost their little car. It's like a little Hot Wheels. So that's okay. They'll come back for it. I think a lot of kids leave little toys here, like for their friends or to play with another time. It happens. Nerf darts are very popular at the park. They're all over the place. <laughs> oh, except for I can't hardly see you because the sun's so bright. <gasps> Look at the static hair. Whoa. Wow. She can make it all the way to the, uh-oh. I was going to say she can make it all the way to the top. She does it all the time. You might have to let go on that one or keep trying to climb. Hold on tight. Pull yourself up. Nope. <laughs> that noise. The skin against the slide. <laughs> Okay, go for it. Woo. Yeah, you were going higher before. What'd you find? Yeah, there's stuff. Let's see it. Run and jump. Whoa, nice. Swing is just the right height for Chelsea. Alex, listening to music. Being a teenager. What are you looking for? Garbage. Garbage? What are you going to do with garbage? We're going to throw it in the trash can. We're going to throw it in the trash can. That's right. We find little bits of garbage like bottle caps, things like that. We throw it in the trash. 
clean up the playground a little bit, right? Gotta keep it nice and clean, huh? Plus it's better for the environment that way. I don't see much trash, only a couple pieces that you already picked up. Oh, there's some. I'm not a baby, I don't eat baby toys. No? What you doing? Oh man, where's Best Boy Choices? We literally just got that in the mail. And, and she took off with it without yep. me getting a look at it. <laughs> look at her. She's got her pen. What are you circling them for? So I want to, if I, if I need to circle them, I, and if I want them, I can circle them. So, but for what? To give to Santa. <laughs> to give oh. To Santa. Do you mean to get from Santa? Well, Do to you... circle it so she can give that to Santa so he knows. Oh, so he knows. Do you remember being a kid and getting, we, for me it was Sears, always service merchandise. Sears, JC Penney's. Oh, I don't remember oh, service I merchandise. Remember it was always <laughs> Sears and JC Penney's. For me it was always service merchandise. Wards. That was the one, cool hero stuff. Really. And maybe Sears. I just really remember service merchandise because that was like the big thing when I was a kid. Are, are you crossing it out or are you circling it like you like it? I'm circling it. So that means you like she's it? Just making sure she circles it that way. You can't see what the actual picture of the toy is anymore. Yeah, yeah now we can't. <laughs> what you need to do is, is like do a big circle all the way around it so we know. Yep. Because otherwise now it's kind of hard to see because you scribbled on top of it. Oh, wow. But I literally, we literally just walked in the door with that. She's like, I want to see that book. I didn't even know what she's talking about. <laughs> I didn't even see it. And she took off with it. I'm like, wait a minute. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Ooh, Shimmer and shine rain, uh, mermaids. A little hamster. You made a little hamster. Yeah, that's so adorable. <laughs> that's perfect for me. Perfect for me too. We don't have to feed it or clean up after it or anything. Yep, and when we're done, we can smash it and put it back in a can. Oh, boy. Only to make it again another time. <laughs> smash. Oh no! <laughs> you smashed your little hamster. What you getting into? <laughs> I'm actually looking for Halloween candy. That cabinet up there is the candy cabinet. So it is filled with all kinds of candies, most of which are probably pretty old. No, not all of them. No, we didn't have any. See, you blew my car. She was sitting behind Play-Doh, and you had to go and say something, and now, oh, I want some. You already had enough sugar today. Trust me, I know. He smells good, so he's good for snuggling tonight. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Lulu Plays, and the question is, what was your favorite costume you ever had for Halloween? And they say mine was Cleopatra. That's a good one. That's really cool. Uh, I guess all the, the Rick Grimes. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a few years back. And I was Darth Vader as a kid, but I remember it was a Darth Vader mask, but it wasn't a Darth Vader mask. It was a knockoff. But I had the black cape, Aww. and I just thought it was cool. <laughs> it was a full, like, face, helmet, oh, like, everything. Wow. So it was the whole thing, not just, like, one of those cheap plasticky masks. masks. Yeah. Mm, that Rick Grimes one was good. <laughs> that was a really good one. I made it for him. Yeah, I remember you had the the lady with the baby popping out of her mouth. Yep, I, I was pregnant with Chelsea, and I had the zombie baby sticking out. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm going to say the one that I put the most effort into, which is this year's, <laughs> because I actually had to get all the face paint, which isn't the actual face paint. It's like a light blue, not even really blue. It has a bit of a green tint it's, to it. It's a Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah. It's Frankenstein. So. Then we just got white paint, white face paint to mix with it to make it lighter. So. Yeah. Hopefully it turns out okay. I think it'll be fine. And then we're going to paint the stitches on, like I said, with makeup yep. or paint. <laughs> I'll figure something out. So Alex is excited to be Sally this year. Yep, it's the costume I put the most effort into, so. Yeah. Mom put the most effort into. Not a lot. You're going to have to do all the painting. Yeah, I know. Right? I could yeah. paint myself. Yeah, paint yourself. I think your best bet is to start with your face and <laughs> to make sure you have enough mm -hmm. and then go from there, so. Um, I'll say when I was in kindergarten, my mom made me an astronaut costume and it was basically just like a white leotard with white tights 
and then she's sewn on like these uh, silver like things on the shoulders and I had my my grandpa's like um, military medals and stuff so it kind of looked like like astronaut medal like I don't know it's kind of hard to explain but I was an astronaut and I think my shoes were even like white and silver and kid you not, I thought that was the coolest thing. I was, that did you have like I a motorcycle helmet or something like that? No, I didn't have a helmet. I don't remember really? what I did. I I might have had. Oh, I know what I had. I had back in the day. It was popular to wear headbands that were like wider and um, like padded. So it had like fabric on it. So it was like a padded fabric silver headband. So even my headband was silver to kind of match like the little straps on my shoulders. It was awesome. Just put a plastic bowl over your head. No, <laughs> oh, what fun is that? I need to find pictures of that and like show it to the kids. I think that would be that would be fun. I need to find those. So we want to know from you guys what was your favorite costume you've ever had for Halloween. Tell us in the comments below.